We gather today to honor all the Jewish educators in Milwaukee, and in particularly our extraordinary honorees this year. We hope that by, that by recognizing them, we honor all of those who work in Jewish schools and educate the next generation of our youth. I would like to ask Beata Abraham, Director of Congregational Learning and Programming at Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamim to share a Devar Torah with us. Okay, friends, so hello. Um, I want you to know I thought long and hard about just the right quote that might possibly resonate with, with the Jewish educators here and, and perhaps everywhere. So I'm gonna throw it at you and see what you think. And it's this, if this is how you are going to treat me, please go ahead and kill me. I'm not going to ask you to publicly acknowledge if this is a thought that resonates with you as a Jewish educator, but please know you're not alone. This is our master educator and leader, Moshe Rabbeinu, in Bamidbar 1115, as he is spending one of his venting sessions with God in their daily heart to talks, in which Moses complains a lot and God calms him down a lot. In this instance, Moses is understandably stressed about the challenges of leading and educating a stiff-necked, sometimes unwilling, and even whiny people. Something that as educators, some of us may know a little bit about. And yet, when we come to the book of Devarim, facing his mortality, Moses does not begin to wax poetic about the joys of freedom, the freedom that he and his people had longed for for hundreds of years, nor does Moses talk about the abundance of flowing milk and honey that they will see in the promised land. Instead, Moses talks about the importance of education no less than six times. Safe to say Moses was probably very concerned about education, as are we all here today. Those being honored today at this event do not do what they do for fame or for glory or for money, especially not in Milwaukee. And like Moses, the people in this room on all and on Zoom and all the educators have probably seen some stuff too. But they still put their heart and soul into supporting or facilitating Jewish education. These are the people who wake up early on a bitter cold Sunday morning and get out of bed to teach at Sunday school. They are the people who show up after a long day of work to schlep outdoor lamps to set up outside so they can build the new play set in the playground of the Sunday school. They are the 96 year old congregant who anonymously donates money to build that play set being built in the dark, but insists on remaining anonymous because anonymous donors do not have to get their hair done at the, at the, at the ceremony to be thanked, just to name a few. And she's not wrong. Because like Moses, they are also a little bit obsessed with making sure that the next generation emerges with a strong Jewish identity and a foundation of Jewish values to guide them. They understand that when people become educators, they have the power to change the course of history. How many people can say that? And they know that what our children will inherit in the future is created in the schools that we build today. And to all of those people, thank you. Mask off, glasses on. We want to take a moment to recognize teachers who are just getting started and also to see the cumulative years of experience represented in this room and on Zoom. If you are on Zoom, please put the number of years you have been teaching in the chat. Will all first year teachers please stand and remain standing? Yeah. 
Will everyone who's been teaching for two to five years please stand and remain standing? Will everyone who has been teaching for six to 17 years please stand or remain standing? <laughs> Will everyone who has been teaching for 18 to 25 years please stand and remain standing? Will everyone who's, anyone who's been teaching for 26 years or more please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Will all our retired teachers please stand and remain standing? <laughs> you can have a seat. Thank you for the outstanding job that each of you has done in educating our community. And those at home, we're giving you some love in the chat. In addition to recognizing the experience of all our teachers, it is a tradition in Milwaukee to recognize teachers who have been working in Jewish education for 18 and 36 years. So could we please invite our high award winners to come stand in front of the stage, come forward? Um, or if you'd prefer, you can pick up your award after the ceremony. So come on up. So when I call your name, you can come up on the stage, come behind me, and then walk across the other way because Kate will give you a special gift that we have for you. So come up this way. Rabbi Shalom Bear Munitz from Bader Hillel Academy. And Tova Korin from Jewish Beginnings. On behalf of everyone at MJDS, I want to say Mazel Tov on your Lifetime Achievement Award. I can't think of a better person to be honored with this award. I feel so grateful to be working at this school, standing on your shoulders and those who came after you to make this school and this community so strong, so proud. MJDS is amazing and it is because of the imagination and the foundation that you built. So thank you. Hi, Mom. We're incredibly proud of you. You've contributed so much to the Jewish community. Starting the school while raising four children was not easy. But through Milwaukee Jewish Day School, you've helped mold hundreds more. Mazel Tov, Mom! My years at MJDS under your leadership and guidance were the highlight of my years as an educator in Milwaukee. Mazel tov, Doris. It's been my honor to be a member of your staff. You've always been the best educator, mentor, and colleague I've ever had the opportunity to work with. Your never-ending advocacy for the entire staff, valuing and supporting our needs, always let us know how much you honored and respected us. Thank you, Rabbi Schneidman, for creating such a great community and school that really gave me a great foundation to build on as an adult in all the work I've done in the community as a volunteer, now in the business that I am building and run on a daily basis, and all the great connections I've made because of that foundation, as well as giving my kids a great place to be. Thank you for everything. Hi, Doris. Congratulations on your Lifetime Impact Award. It's so well deserved. Thank you so much for trusting me and for allowing me to follow my creative dreams and to 
have your help to make them come true. It was wonderful and thank you very much. Doris, because of your vision, your passion and your determination, countless children, their parents, and all of the teachers and staff who shared your vision are forever changed. You not only planted those early seeds that grew into the Milwaukee Jewish Day School that we know and love today, but you made it a community and set goals that helped children develop their own unique Jewish identities. Hi Doris and Mazel Tov. I can't think of anyone who is more deserving of an award called the Lifetime Impact Award. You've left an indelible mark on Milwaukee Jewish Day School and on countless families that have passed through its doors over the years. Thank you from me personally for having had the opportunity to work with you and learn from you and wishing you all the best on this for this great honor. Mazel Tov from Israel. Doris, Mazel Tov on this very well-deserved honor. On behalf of the entire Langer family, thank you for all that you did for Jewish education in Milwaukee. Doris, I will always be grateful to you for educating my daughters, Marissa and Ulana, and the hundreds of alumni that followed. You are truly deserving of this tribute, and we are all forever inspired by your dream. I'm wanting to say a quick congratulations for a well-deserved honor and to thank you again for introducing me um, to so many of my very best friends, and that includes you. Thank you for helping uh, me find a, a family in Milwaukee. Mazel tov, Doris, on receiving this well-deserved award. You have made such a difference in the Milwaukee Jewish community in the lives of so many students, parents, and teachers. Uh, this, nobody, I can't think of anybody who deserves this award more than you. And thank you so much for being my friend. Congratulations, Doris. This award is so well deserved. You created an incredible community where both students and staff could learn and grow. I just was so grateful to have been part of the journey. Mazel tov, Doris, on a very well-deserved honor. MJDS is a special school because of you. Mazel tov, Doris, you helped build MJDS and establish a new high standard for Jewish education in Milwaukee. It isn't just a school, it's a community, a family where staff, parents, and students support and care about each other. This is possible because of your vision based on dignity and respect. What I love about Doris is her ability to see potential in people before they even know they have it. Thank you for all you did, Doris Mazalto. Much to my surprise, you convinced me that indeed I could teach middle school, and that was the beginning of a 15-year experience um, that I grew to love. Thank you, too, for slogging through my 300-page research paper. Uh, you have had a huge impact on my life, and I'm forever grateful. Hi, Doris. I wanted to take a moment just to celebrate you, to thank you for everything you've done for our community. Your impact has been long, wide, deep, and wonderful. Really, think about it. Think about all the teachers you've impacted and them and all the hundreds of students they've impacted on. And then all those students, the hundreds of people they've impacted on. Doris, you're not a legend, you're a doer, and you change Milwaukee and the world forevermore. And for that, I'll forever be grateful. Hi, Doris. Mazel tov on receiving this Lifetime Impact Award. I can't think of anyone else in the Milwaukee area or anywhere else who is more deserving of this award than you. I am so grateful to you for bringing me to MJDS and for teaching me so much and for the impact that you had, not just on me, but on my family as well. We all can't thank you enough. We are so grateful. Doris, congratulations on receiving the Jewish Educators Lifetime Impact Award. You were a positive influence on my teaching career. I wanna thank you for being my mentor, boss, and friend all these years. Thank you. Hi, Doris. It's Eileen Leff and Carly Miller-Azenberg, MJDS class of 99. 
We're here to wish you a very warm Mazel Tov on this wonderfully earned recognition. Thanks to you, MJDS is still thriving, and my own son, Avi, is a part of the Class 2030. Doris, Mazal Tov on this much-deserved honor. I am forever grateful for the way that you welcomed my boys into the MJDS family and for bringing me on board to teach there for so many years, which was incredibly fulfilling and impactful in my life. Your dream, your vision has had influence on countless children and their families. Toda Raba for all that you've done. Hi Doris, congratulations on this wonderful achievement. You not only created a school, you created a community and a family within that community. Thank you so much for all the things that you taught me as an educator. There is no one more deserving of this award than you. You devoted your life to creating an incredible school for all the children that I taught and that attended MJDS and also for my own kids. This marvelous school will live on because of you. The CJL Lifetime Impact Award Award is given to someone who has dedicated his or her life to improving Jewish education. People receiving this award have contributed to Jewish education throughout many decades of work. Five times before, the Coalition for Jewish Learning has recognized a member of the Milwaukee Jewish community with a Lifetime Impact Award. Would previous winners of the Lifetime Impact Award, Eve Joan Zucker, Rabbi Nachum Levine, and Dr. Steve Baruch, please stand if you are here or wave to everyone on Zoom. And to Elaine Sanderson and Jerry Benjamin, may their memories be for a blessing. This year's winner of the Lifetime Impact Award is Doris Schneidman, founding director of the Milwaukee Jewish Day School. In 1981, Visionary director Doris, two extraordinary teachers, and 11 students and their parents founded MJDS. They believed that having Jewish values intertwined throughout every grade, every day, and every educational experience in a pluralistic community, Jewish day school would help form leaders of tomorrow. They could not have known the incredible continuing impact of their vision. I have been blessed to send my two daughters to MJDS, and I can tell you firsthand the impact the school has had on all of our lives. Doris, the community, and I thank you for founding MJDS. We would like to invite Marzi Eisenberg, a longtime MJDS teacher and friend and colleague, to introduce Doris. Greetings and Mazel Tov to you, Doris. It was in September 1981 when you, as our founding director, Kathleen Waldenstein, as our founding general studies teacher, and I, as the founding Hebrew Jewish studies teacher, opened the school for Jewish kids. We called it the Day School because we had no time to choose a name. The three of us moved forward day by day with our 11 wonderful junior and senior kindergarten students and began the life of the Milwaukee Jewish Day School, now often called MJDS. Just a few of your accomplishments, Doris. Your goal was to hire the best possible staff, whatever it took, and you did. They were skilled in secular and Hebrew Judaic studies. 
then we encourage the outstanding staff to develop their unique habits. Omanut plays community project, the Hebrew rap and Hebrew showbiz, and bike trips for a couple of grades. There was always something to anticipate. You did not say, no, it can't be done. No, too much money. No, too much work. Instead, you, with respect and excitement for our ideas, helped make it happen. Doris, you were a fabulous listener who not only allowed creativity, you endorsed and encouraged it, believing in your teachers and their dedication to children and their families. Your door was always open. Hundreds of students have been impacted by your leadership and have been reaching their diverse goals. Many have carried their love for MJDS by staying in touch, sending their own kids to MJDS, taught or are teaching in our school, and are perpetrating our mission of Jewish community and outreach. Mazal Tov, Doris, for earning the Lifetime Impact Award, all of us, who were with you during your time at school from 1981 to 2000, and those who continued after re your retirement continue to thank you and to build from what you began with us for our Jewish children and families. Mazal Tov. Thank you, Marzi. Oh, I didn't expect this to be so emotional. Oh my goodness. Anyway, to the written word. I am overwhelmed to have been selected to receive the 2022 Coalition for Jewish Education Lifetime Impact Award. Because CJL is the agency that supports Jewish education in our community, I am especially honored. So toda raba to the selection committee for choosing me. The first person that I wanted to tell after learning that I would receive this honor is my husband, Dan of blessed memory. Dan provided unconditional support during the years that I worked on advanced degrees and spent long hours at MJDS. He was so proud of our school. Although I am giving the acceptance speech, this award really belongs to all of the people who helped the school become so successful. So here is my list. The original six rabbis who endorsed and guided the school. The 10 families who took a chance on the school. After all, it was only kindergarten. All the teachers and rabbis who each brought something unique to the classroom with such love. The support staff who kept the school functioning and helped build a community of learners. The Milwaukee Jewish Federation and the individuals that provided a beautiful building and campus and endless financial support and scholarships for our families. The families of the school who kept it going by hosting recruitment meetings in their homes, volunteering countless hours, serving on boards and committees, setting up the computer labs, planning special events, and let us not forget, selling enormous amounts of fruits and nuts, cookbooks, spirit wear, 
and even running a bingo game in the early days. Many of our retired teachers and staff keep in touch with our graduates and the alumni have formed lifelong friendships. It is no accident that so many of our, grand, our graduates are outstanding in their fields. So to name a few, art, Hebrew education, acting, jewelry design, photography, veterinary medicine, day school heads, rabbis, professors of mathematics, physics and landscape design, sports management, and leaders in their synagogue and federations, musicians, and teachers at MJDS. Of course, this list is not exhausted, but you get the idea. In my retirement years, I still treasure and continue the friendships that I made at the school. I want to thank my wonderful, incredible, loving children and grandchildren and family for seeing that these last years have been fun, safe, meaningful, happy, and interesting. I need to tell you that I never expected to receive such a reward so many years after I retired. My leadership of MJDS is remembered because the school is continuing to thrive and educate another generation. Thank you again for this honor and the opportunity to share my thoughts and memories. So in the spring, when Doris is back in Milwaukee, we are going to present at Shabbat Sing um, this plaque for her, which says, CJL Lifetime Impact Award, Doris Schneidman. You forever changed the landscape of Jewish education in Milwaukee. You have touched thousands of lives. Thank you for all you do. And we Thank also you. This piece of artwork for Doris which has the teacher's prayer on it. So we will look forward to presenting both of these in the spring sometime. The teacher impact awards are given to recognize teachers who are great at a particular skill, such as mentoring, innovating, helping others, or other distinctive contributions to education. The school support awards are given to non-teachers, that is, administrators, lay leaders, volunteers, or aides who have provided something valuable to their school. We recognize these people in three groups. First, the supplementary schools, then the preschools, and finally, the day schools. We would like to ask all supplementary school teachers who are getting an award today to come to gather here in the front of the stage. When I call your name, please come up and accept your award. If you would prefer, you can pick up your award at the ceremony. And the same is true for the school support folks. Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tami. Come on up. In front of the stage. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to start again. Congregation, oh, I'll wait for the photo first. Okay, now you can start going across the stage as I call your names. So Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamid, Kate 
Fritz Schlotman, who is the Teacher Impact Award winner and School Support Award, Tyler Borkin. Congregation Emmanuel Benayashurin, Teacher Impact Award, Anastasia Esther, and, and School Support Award, Bob Brasner. Congregation Emmanuel of Waukesha, Teacher Impact Award, Ann Myers, and School Support Award, Mark Levy. Congregation Shalom, Teacher Impact Award, Cindy Hamill. School Support Award, Laura Whitco. Congregation Sinai, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Rabbi Brick, J. Brickman, may his memory be for a blessing, and accepting on his is his daughter, Haji Black. Thank you, Haji. Then we have the School Support Awards for Sinai, Cece Parks, Lydia Lancina, and Nason Lancina. The Milwaukee Community Hebrew School Teacher Impact Award, Beryl Yanover. And School Impact Support Award, Danny Baikovsky. And finally, the Peltz Hebrew School Teacher Impact Award, Margalit Fakiro and School Support Award Gita Dubov. And one more time, let's hear it for all of them. We would like to ask all preschool teachers who are getting an award today to come gather here at the front in front of the stage when I when I call your name please come accept your award and if you would prefer you can pick your award up after the ceremony Jewish beginnings Lubavitch preschool Teacher Impact Award, Amy Gelfman. Sorry about that. Jewish Beginnings Lubavitch Preschool, Teacher Impact Award, Amy Gelfman. School Support Award, Aya Sasson. <laughs> Mequon Jewish Preschool Teacher Impact Award, Creeny Tiffenbrum. <laughs> School Support Award, Robin Eisman. Donna Me Early Childhood Center Teacher Impact Award, Jennifer Walker. <laughs> School Support Award, Michelle Hoffman.
Let's hear it for all of them. We had planned to give one more Teacher Impact Award to art teacher Andreas Hernandez of Ganymede. We are so saddened to share the news of his untimely death last week. Andreas will be missed by his students, their families, the JCC staff, and all who knew him. May his memory be for a blessing, Zechrono Libraja. Accepting the award in his memory will be Heather Spencer, Site Director, Ganami JCC Early Childhood Program. We'd now like to ask all the day school teachers who are getting an award today to come forward. get a picture and then when I call your name you can come up. Bader Hillel Academy. Teacher Impact Award, Katherine Ellis. Also for Bader Hill Academy Teacher Impact Award, Sean Peterson. <laughs> School Support Award, Robin Tunkel. Bader Hillel High, Teacher Impact Award, Avner Tarika Lecter. <laughs> School Support Award, Shmuel Leib Poulter. <laughs> Milwaukee Jewish Day School, Teacher Impact Award, Jody Fox. School Support Award, Jamie Holland. <laughs> Torah Academy of Milwaukee, Teacher Impact Award, Chava Israel. <laughs> School Support Award, Adel Ganellis. Wisconsin Institute for Torah Study, Teacher Impact Award, Matthew Lawal Shane. <laughs> School Support Award, Josh Kramer. <laughs> Yeshiva Elementary School Award, Teacher Impact Award, Rabbi Yechiel Pinsky. School Support Award, Gitty Smith. Just a reminder for all of our win winners who are watching on Zoom or weren't able to make it today, we will mail your awards to you. Let's hear it for all of our teachers. The Gill Incentive for Teachers, or GIFT Award, 
is designed to honor teachers who are willing to share their unique and creative educational ideas. I want to give special thanks to the family of Norman and Ethel Gill, who continue to sp sponsor this award in their memory and for the role they play in recognizing exemplary teaching. We truly miss Ethel and Norman, who were both members of our board for many years and contributed so much to Jewish life in Milwaukee. Their daughter and son-in-law, Eileen and Howard Dubner, carry on their mission. If you are here today, will you please wave or wave on Zoom <laughs> and be recognized? Would previous winners of the Gill Incentive for Teachers Award please stand or wave? Oh. Thank you. You may be seated. So this year's gift award goes to Roger Karp of Congregation Shalom for his project a modern railroad journey through the land of the judges, kings, and prophets of ancient Israel. This project was done during the 2019-2020 school year. This is the fifth time that Roger has won the gift award. What an accomplishment. Roger, please stand and come up and stand here. The focus of this year-long project was teaching students Jewish history from the time the Israelites entered the Promised Land after the Exodus through the establishment of a monarchy. Students benefited from learning about this seldom taught part of Jewish history in an innovative, creative, and enjoyable way that included text study, class discussion, collaborative learning, woodworking, painting, and modeling with different materials. Students became familiar with important judges, specifically Joshua, Deborah, and Samson, kings, specifically Saul, David, and Solomon, and prophets, specifically Elijah and Elisha. The project was a fifth through seventh grade elective. The project was a tourist railroad used to transport travelers between historic sites and through scenery with great beauty and interest. Students were to create a miniature version of such a tourist railroad on a four by eight foot sheet of plywood that in their imagination would bring modern day tourists from one historic site to another, sites related to the biblical stories. Students would first study an assortment of stories and become familiar with their main characters, geographical settings, and lessons as related to the history of the Jewish people. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, school went virtual in March of 2020, so the project was never fully completed. Nevertheless, students gained a great deal of knowledge about a section of the Tanakh and events in ancient Jewish history they had never been exposed to before. They learned how to study the Tanakh, like that of geography of Israel, and it could be applied with relevance to their lives. This project impressed the committee with its depth of learning, its project-based learning approach to the curriculum, and the innovative method to teach text. Roger kept detailed notes of the project, and it is highly repli replicable. Contact CJL to learn more about the project. And this award includes a $500 check. Mazel tov, Roger, come on up.
the Jerry Benjamin Inspiration Award for Informal Jewish Education. Each year at the Salute to Jewish Educators, CJL honors educators from local schools. CJL recognizes that important Jewish education also happens in informal settings. Informal education includes camps, youth groups, art programs, environmental education, Jewish travel programs, and all other types of Jewish education happening outside of a classroom environment. I want to give special thanks to the family of Jerry Benjamin. May his memory be for a blessing. CJL Lifetime Impact Award winner, past president of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation, for whom this award is named. Jerry was the co-founder of CAGE, the Coalition of, Jew of the Advancement of Jewish Education. This award is a tribute to his passion about Jewish education. If anyone from Jerry's family is on Zoom, can you please wave so we can recognize you? The Inspiration Award was new in 2016. It enables our community to recognize excellence and innovation in informal education. Would the previous winners of the Inspiration Award of Informal Jewish Education please stand or wave? Thank, thank you. Thank you. This year, the Jerry Benjamin Inspiration Award for Informal Jewish Education goes to Delia Bernier of Hillel, Milwaukee, Springboard Fellow and the Ezra Jewish Educational Specialist. Delilah, will you please come up? Delilah's role at Hillel Milwaukee encompasses such a variety of things, including Jewish educator, holiday and Shabbat programming, student leadership development, intern supervision, fellowship facilitation, curriculum, and Jewish text curation. Delilah's role has increased our students' Jewish understanding and relationship to Hillel, which has resulted in a deeper connection and commitment to the global Jewish community. Delilah consistently provides students with opportunities to learn in ways that feel meaningful and relevant to their lives as Jewish adults. College is a life stage in which students are approaching Judaism on their own terms for the first time, a process that can feel nerve wracking for them. With this in mind, Delilah presents Jewish tradition and rituals to students as opportunities to implement Judaism into their lives as an avenue for spiritual growth. Delilah constantly encourages students to make choices that are meaningful to them and guides them to find meaning in their choices, but never teaches about mitzvot without intentionality. Delilah's interactions with students reflect many Jewish values. One example is welcoming the stranger, as she is always seeking out new students to bring to events. Additionally, Delilah exhibits enormous pride in her Judaism, sharing it with every student she comes into contact with. She aims to show every student that being Jewish is an asset and a special gift, no matter how much anti-Semitism is present in the world. This pride, resilience, and determination to combat anti-Semitism and what influences students to serve as proud Jewish representatives in their communities, religious and secular. This award includes a $200 check. Mazal Tov, Delilah. I love my Jewish school because I like the song that was singing Ramamu. Why do you love your Jewish school? 
because of it's very fun and it has pancakes and syrup. Ready? I love my school because I love the allergies. I think the new school is fun because I get to see um, my friends and also I get to learn new things. I like going to a Jewish school because it helps me not feel alone in society. I like Jewish schools because there's a lot of nice people. We celebrate Shabbat and all the teachers are very kind. I love Jewish school because of all the great teachers who help me learn and grow. I love my Jewish school because all the um, awesome teachers and everything I learn and learn in Hebrew. I love my Jewish school because my teacher makes learning fun. What's special about it is it helps me uh, feel closer to God and helps me learn about like my past and the religion. That Going to TAM has helped me grow in my Judaism as well as helped me prepare for my future. I love TAM because it's so warm and inviting and has a positive atmosphere that helps me to grow. The most interesting thing I learned this year was that better lay a hundred eggs at a time. I liked my Hebrew class with Miss Debbie because we got to do a cool photography unit. The most interesting thing I learned this year was Havdalah. I like to know that there is a holiday right after a holiday. There are lots of prayers that you can learn in songs, like the one for the spices and the candles. The most interesting thing I learned this year was learning about the Beit HaMikdashes and how they got destroyed. The most interesting thing I learned this year is math. It was so much fun when we got to make clowns for a poem. Something the teachers have taught me are how to be a good listener and mute the kids and just understand their needs better in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Through this process, I have learned how patience and encouragement can let children grow. My teacher helped me Jewishly by teaching me holidays I didn't even know about. And I think learning these holidays was really exciting for me. This is, this is why I love my teachers. I want to thank Hebrew School because they teach so many kids how to, how to pray to Hashem. My favorite thing to do in Hebrew School is to daffin My teacher has helped me I have a deep understanding of Judaism by teaching me and the whole class about our past and our history. So my teachers taught me this year is how every Jew's actions impact the world. We love Tam because of all the incredible teachers who teach us such valuable lessons. I like when my poet teaches me all of the Nakudos. It's been so exciting learning about the plagues in Egypt. My Rebbe made learning so much fun when we got to make tzitzis ourselves. I learned so much when we made projects about the mitzvah of honoring our parents. Gracie, how do you like to celebrate Shabbat? By making hats. I love celebrating Shabbat because I like hanging out with my family and it's really important. I like celebrating Shabbat because I love the hats. I, like I like to light the candles on Shabbat. When we are at show, um, um, we are, we are, we feel like we got to be too, we are close to Hashem. What is your favorite mitzvah? Hashem. And why? It makes me happy. I'm excited for the mitzvah that we're going to do, building a sensory room with fidgets and sensory boxes. My favorite mitzvah is to help people when they're a little bit old. My favorite mitzvah is helping somebody because it's a mitzvah. My favorite mitzvah is Sadaka. Uh, there's always been like a connection between charity work and being Jewish. Um, I feel like it's a really, a really big important part. Going to a Jewish school is very important and very special because it teaches me about my religion and uh, I also don't know that many people that are Jewish. Going to Jewish school is important to me because it enriches my Jewish culture and allows me to discuss 
world problems and possible solutions using the Torah and Jewish moral. I like going to a Jewish school because it helps me have a great education and because it helps me learn more about my culture. Going to a Jewish school is special to me because um, I'm from Israel and I just like being Jewish. Yeah. Going to a Jewish school is important to me because it's showing my religion. In January 2019, CJL began a new program called BINA, Building Inquiry-Based Network Through Chavruta. The original program brought together nine teachers from schools across the community, supplementary schools, day schools, and preschools, to form a year-long learning cohort. The group embarked on a journey of professional development that included Chavruta study, video investigation, curriculum study, compassionate communication, and more. In 2021, we inaugurated the third cohort of BINA Fellows. While this cohort will not complete the program until August, we want to recognize the participants today. In August, when these seven grad educators graduate from the BINA program, they will earn a certificate of graduation and a $500 stipend. When I call your name, please stand or wave. Natalie Black, Congregation Sinai. Amber Franklin, Congregation Shalom. <laughs> Shlomit Girmansky, Congregation Sinai and Ghana Me, Early Childhood Education Center. Abby Levine, Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Rachel Norwood, Ghana Me, Early Childhood Education Center. Linda Weber, Ghanami Early Childhood Education Center. And Zachary Williams, Yeshiva Elementary School. We will be planning another cohort for August of 2022. So if you are interested, let me know. Our community is blessed with the superb Jewish educators and CJL wishes to highlight their contributions and thereby elevate the status of Jewish educators in Milwaukee. This annual award enables our community to show gratitude for all the time, effort, and care our educators give their students. This award recognizes nominees who have been engaged in Jewish education for a minimum of five years in Milwaukee, demonstrate leadership within the field of Jewish education, inspire students with a love of Jewish learning, personify the Jewish ideals of love and of learning and search for knowledge, have contributed to the elevation of the status of Jewish educators within the Jewish community, and engaged in the delivery of Jewish content on an ongoing basis. We will now recognize previous winners of the Levy Family CJL Jewish Educator of the Year Award. Will you please stand or wave? This award is sponsored by Mark and Cindy Levy, who have been dedicated to Jewish education for many years. Cindy was a longtime member of the CJL Advisory Board. Mark and Cindy are very involved in the synagogue, Congregation Emanuel of Waukesha. They made the commitment to drive their daughter, Sharon, to Milwaukee, Jew Milwaukee every day so that she could attend Milwaukee Jewish Day School for 10 years. As supporters of Jewish education in Milwaukee, they wanted to elevate the status of our high quality educators in Milwaukee by fun funding this Jewish Educator of the Year Award. Mark and Cindy, please stand or wave so we can thank you. We are honored to present the Levy Family, Levy Family CJL Jewish Educator of the Year Award. This award comes with a $1,000 cash gift. This year's winner is Rifki Spalter from Mequon Jewish Preschool. <laughs> from the first time I visited Mequon Jewish Preschool almost seven years ago, I was mesmerized by the relationship that Rifki has with teachers, students, and parents. 
The love she shows to all of them is palpable in the school. Also of note was the total dedication of every adult in the building to continued learning and growing as people, as Jews, and as educators. It is Rifki's example that leads every beautiful element of the school. Introducing Rifki today is Dr. Naama Zoran, a developmental psychologist and educational systems consultant who has been working with Rifki and Mequon Jewish Preschool for many years. Good afternoon to all. It is very special for me to introduce Rivki Spalter, MJP's director, a colleague, and a very special friend. We've just read two portions that could represent Rivki's educational journey. By Akhel Ikudei, two portions that complement each other and that some commentaries even challenge their order and say that maybe it should have been Ikudei by Akhel. The portion's names are self-explanatory. Gathering and unity on the one hand and counting and detailing on the other. Creating and being a community with shared vision and identity that is created by individuals that each of them is an equal part, feels a part, and give a part. When I met Rivki 12 years ago, I saw a lifelong learner with a desire to cross the boundaries of what she knew back then, for walking towards new educational quality that would match and follow the Chabad's educational vision and practices as they were given and taught by the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson. Rivki is a person of valor. The following story is capturing how well-deserved is the award she is given today. On one of our first orientation days, a teacher came at 8 a.m. and told Rivki she is quitting and left the building. All of you who are educators and directors know exactly what it means, and Rivki's mood was far from joyful. I told her that we will find a solution and that we need to bring a message to everybody that this place demands responsibility and is built on mutual respect. I guided her to call the teacher and to invite her to come back and say goodbye to her colleagues and that we will do something nice for her. Although Rivki was far from seeing the event from that point of view, she called the teacher who came back and when we were together with the whole faculty, she shared she is leaving, and we created a beautiful moment where each colleague gave her a blessing to her new journey and shared a good memory they had with her. The above shows the Vayakhel, having the faculty sending the teacher to her journey in a value-based way, shows the Pekudei by valuing every person and accepting them as equal, no matter what. And it shows the lifelong learning desire Rivki has and her openness and bravery to touch new places of quality. My blessing to Rivki is to continue following her inner compass towards new heights of quality. Thank you, Nama, for that beautiful introduction. I'm honored to be speaking at this wonderful event hosted by the Milwaukee Jewish Federation and the Coalition for Jewish Learning, an organization that is committed to supporting educational institutions in Milwaukee. Thank you, Tippi Altman, and to CJL for this recognition, and Mazel Tov to all the honorees. I invite you to think for a moment. What is it that we want for our children and coming generations as they grow up? What gift 
do we want to give our children that will guide them into the future? What message, what values do you want your students to take with them as they explore the world? There is no doubt that Jewish education is the core for our future. I often think about my great-great-grandfather, Rabbi Ben Sion Raskin, who lived in Russia during the World Wars. He and his family suffered terribly from persecution, poverty, and the devastation. My Bubby would tell me stories about him. He was, on the one hand, a strong character who had the highest expectations for his children. He was also a gentleman who would lovingly hold his grandchildren in his arms and tell them stories about our heritage. He was always present for their needs. The Lubavitcher Rebbe once spoke about him and said, there is a man in Russia who wakes up early every morning to pray. What does he pray for? Was it the material needs for his children and family? Actually, no. He cries and prays that his children and grandchildren will grow up in the path of Judaism. That's what was so important to him. The fifth Lubavitcher Rebbe, known as the Rebbe Rashab, once shared the following. It is an absolute duty for every person to spend a half hour every day thinking about his children's education. Their highest priority must be to do everything within their power to inspire children to follow the path along which they are being guided. When we opened Mequon Jewish Preschool in 1999, with the strong supportive collaboration of Rob and Sharon Kliegman, I had many dreams. I imagined a place filled with joy, a place with meaningful learning that would help develop true leaders. I imagined a place where every person who entered, whether a child or an adult, would know they are welcomed for who they are. And as our school developed and grew, I felt some unrest. The faculty was dedicated and willing to reach for high places, but what was the higher place? We had the core mission of Chabad, to see every person as a chelek elokam imal, a part of godliness. But how do we give that message to the child? How do we make sure our practice meets our value? It felt too simplistic to me. What are children and educators truly capable of? Thanks to Bader Philanthropies, I was introduced to an organization called Jesse, and I was invited to a fellowship that opened my eyes to the possibilities of education. It was there that we met Dr. Nama Zoran, and we began an in-depth journey that continues to this day. With Dr. Zoran and the inspiration from the Reggio Emilia approach, there was no place for compromise when it comes to education. We learned that change for the better takes bravery and commitment. We learned what it truly means to believe in a child and to see him or her by their strengths. A child is always in a state of becoming, never arrived. We learned that children have incredible depths and are capable of creating their own theories. We brought this change to Mequon Jewish Preschool. I must add here a special thank you to my dear colleague, Robin Eisman, who was with me from the first moment and has never wavered in her commitment to bringing deep Jewish learning to our school through this progressive method. Growth brought with it opportunities to elevate learning and great excitement to our faculty. As our quality deepened, it opened opportunities to collaborate with other schools in Milwaukee and throughout the US. We also had the opportunity to send our educators to Reggio Emilia to learn in the place where educational quality is the highest in the world. While thinking of this evening, a beautiful memory came to me that captures our journey towards quality. When we were preparing for our daddy's day, we realized that one of our dads was in the hospital. As the children planned their father's participation, the teachers noticed a sad expression on this child's face. As we talked, we thought about the pain and the sadness that this child was going through. Nama then shifted our perspective. 
Instead of focusing on the challenge and pain of the situation, we moved to meet the child in an empowering place. We thought about how this boy could be active in including his father in the event and feel that he is there with him. Along with the child, we created a book that included pictures the child chose from moments his father was with him at school, and later we added pictures from the event itself. It was a beautiful gift for the father and the child, and you can imagine how it strengthened their relationship. And for us, it was a lesson that we should always search for ways to empower children and families. Accepting this honor with me are those who have been with me from the beginning. In addition to Rob and Sharon and Robin, I also want to recognize our beloved board president, Rachel Marks, who has supported our vision for learning in every possible way. We have also been supported by our children and their spouses who thank God have encouraged us to continue this climb. My message to all of us is that now more than ever, we must recognize the importance of providing our children with learning that will connect them to their precious heritage and provide them with an inner moral compass that will guide them through life. The world is at a threshold of a very special time. The Lubavitcher Rebbe says, we are about to enter the era known as the coming of Mashiach, a time when there will be no more war, no more illness, no more suffering, a world of goodness and kindness where spirituality will be revealed to all. May we all reach that moment now. We would like to thank the Milwaukee Jewish Federation for its support for, of this event. The Coalition for Jewish Learning is the education department of the Federation, and without their support, none of our work would be possible. We would also like to thank the Harry and Rose Sampson J Family JCC for this lovely space and Friendship Circle for the amazing cookies. Please make sure you take one on your way out. A special thank you to Nicole Bioko, Kate Schmidt, Jeff Jones, Amy Butterfield, Melissa Taylor, and other Milwaukee Jewish Federation staff who helped plan today's event. Special thanks to the Synagogue Educators Council, Beata Abraham, Brian Abner, Carrie Barbakoff, Rabbi David Cohen, Susan Costin, Chava Edelman, Debian Trevaya, and Denny Rappaport. Please stand or wave so we may recognize you. Thank you to the CJL Advisory Board for their participation and support of this event. Please stand or wave so we may recognize you. Thank you to the Salute to Jewish Educators Committee for organizing the event. Please stand or wave so we may recognize you. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to Sifi. Thank you. Thank you, Molly Beth, and thank you, Sherry. Um, I just want to point out that Kate is standing next to the cookies, so make sure you get one on your way out. Um, Rabbi Pozlovsky is the rabbi at Congregation Shalom. It is my privilege to invite Rabbi Pozlovsky to lead us in a closing prayer. It is an honor to be here this afternoon with all of you, with the wonderful cohort of teachers in front of me in 
the room and both on Zoom as well. I'd love to offer a prayer for our teachers. Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotinu v'imotenu. Adonai our God, God of our ancestors. Thank you for blessing our educators with wisdom and kindness as they teach our children. May they continue to instill Jewish values, a love of Torah and community. Bless the work of their minds and hearts. They model compassion, respect, and curiosity for our students, guiding them to ask big questions and work to make the world a better place. May they feel the love of the Milwaukee Jewish community and be blessed with peace now and always. Baruch Ata Aronai, Mekor HaChokhmah. Blessed are you, Aronai, wellspring of wisdom. <laughs>